Fiber paste is very much what the name implies. It's a white, opaque, viscous product with a fibrous quality. The consistency out of the jar is like whipped cream cheese, a little stiff and tacky, and as you pull your palette knife along the surface, you'll see the fibers taking on the direction of your stroke. The texture you get with paste while wet will remain as it dries. If you want a smoother surface, you can smooth this out by wetting your palette knife with a little water and working the surface while it's still wet. At this point, I'd like to make the distinction between a gel and a paste. A paste, as it dries, is going to look very much similar to this. It may be a little bit more matte, but it'll look essentially the same. Whereas a gel, as the water evaporates out, it'll become clear and translucent, and light will be able to move through it. The reason it's important to differentiate between a gel and a paste is to think about how they'll react with color. When you mix color into a paste, it'll act like a tint of white and give a pastel tone to your colors. Once your fiber paste has dried, it looks something like this. The fibers in the paste create a rich, toothy surface that's perfect for picking up dry media, like pastel, charcoal, and pencil. If you spread the fiber paste, as I've done, over a piece of plastic, like a garbage bag or a plastic drop cloth, it allows you, after it's completely dry, to detach it. You can pull it away from the plastic and create a paper-like skin. This takes the paper-like qualities of fiber paste a step farther. With a fiber paste skin, you can paint and draw on its surface, or cut it with a knife or scissors. Maybe even apply our digital grounds on the top of the skin and print an image onto it. Then you can adhere it to another surface like a board or canvas, or work with it in a collage project or on a dimensional surface. Fiber paste is compatible with the entire range of golden products, including all paints and mediums. What you might not expect to hear is that fiber paste does not contain paper fibers. In fact, it contains mineral fibers, which have a higher archival quality. There's far more you can do with fiber paste than we were able to do in that short period of time, but hopefully it's piqued your interest and you can imagine ways that you can use it in your own work. For more information, you can always go to a Golden Workshop or contact Tech Support. Thanks for watching.